Hi everyone, welcome to a new iProcess webcast. My name is Roxana and today we will talk about incorporating eSpice practices in an agile environment. Let's start with definition. Automotive Spice is the automotive industry model for process assessment. It is a framework typically used for process improvements, determining risks in the quality for a specific product release and as a criterion for supplier selection. Agile is an umbrella for software development methods and techniques such as Scrum, Extreme Programming, Feature-Driven Development, Test-Driven Development, Scaled Agile Framework, SAFE, to name a few. While ASPICE is structured based on the V cycle, there is no requirement that organizations have to convert to the V model to become compliant. Let's do the following exercise and map the process outcomes of MAN3 project management from ASPICE to Agile practices. In ASPICE, the project management process aims to identify, establish and control the activities and resources necessary for a project to produce a product within the project's constraints and requirements. As a result of successful implementation, the following outcomes are established. The first one, the scope of work for the project is defined. The Agile equivalent would contain a product roadmap that would answer questions like how many releases, when, what is included in each. Second, the feasibility of achieving the project goals with available resources and constraints is evaluated. The Agile equivalent would contain the same information as a non-Agile environment. Feasibility studied, project demos, delivery of a sample, and so on. Number three, the activities and resources necessary to complete the work are sized and estimated. A release plan in Scrum, for example, contains prioritized product backlog reflected in a release backlog that is further broken down into sprints, all contributing to interim deployments and the final release. If Scrum is too simple for complexity of your project, then look into the principle of SAFE and Agile release train solutions. Estimation methods are often suggested in the Agile setup. T-shirt sizes, story points, hours, depending on the level of estimation. Four, interfaces within the project and with other projects and organizational units are identified and monitored. An Agile environment is actually better structured around different types of meetings. You could have release planning meetings, you can have a PI planning meeting, system demo, sprint review, retrospectives, daily stand-ups. Five, plans for the execution of the project are developed, implemented, and maintained. Scrum planning happens at five levels, each with a different time horizon. You have a vision, roadmap, release, sprint, and at the daily. Six, project progress is monitored and reported. Updates are summarized in burndown charts, regular sync meetings, and other meetings. Progress status is reported regularly using multiple reporting options and tools supported, such as velocity chart, release burndown, feature burndown, and more. 7. Corrective action is taken when project goals are not achieved and the recurrence of problems identified in the project is prevented. Agile and non-agile handle corrective actions similarly as action items, problem report, or a change request depending on the case. In conclusion, following an agile methodology does not prevent you from becoming compliant with ASPICE best practices. iProcess will provide another video to look at the integration of agile and ASPICE from an engineering perspective.